We already had a look at a whole bunch of case fans, a small army actually, but one company that we have not had that deep look at yet is Scythe. So let's correct this huge error by introducing their Case Flex 120mm PVM. Scythe's solution to a silent case cooling. And oh my god, I'm so proud that I just pronounced Scythe's correctly, like Scythe's. Great. This is the Scythe Case Flex 120mm PVM. All in all, there are a ton of different Case Flex fans. On the PVM line, there are two, a 800 RPM and a 1200 RPM fan. The later one is the one we are looking at today. Then there are also three pin lineups with a 800, 1200 and 2000 RPM fan respectively. And then to round it off, there is a slim version at 1200, 1800 RPM, once using a three pin voltage controlled connection and again, the whole thing over a PVM connection. At this point, I just wanted to point out that I do not understand why there is a 2000 RPM 3-pin case flex version, but not a 4-pin. Why is that, Scythe? That's an issue, and it needs to be solved. Anyway, the one we are looking at today is the Scythe case flex 120mm PVM running at max 1200 RPM, so definitely a case fan. Sitting at the max speed, the flex are able to push about 51 CFM at 1.05 mm of H2O. So again, definitely one of those case fans that you just let spin at all power and because you don't hear it anyway. As my overuse of the word PVM suggests, there is a roughly 50 cm long sleeved PVM connection coming out of the fan. It feels pretty sturdy and high quality and on that note, quality overall was something that surprised me quite a bit in a positive way with the case flex. Based on the imagery online, the fan never looked bad but the end product turned out to be a lot better than what I initially thought. Everything is a, is a bit sturdier than I expected. Both sides of each frame edge is covered in a gray rubber type of piece and the frame itself is also quite a lot sturdier than its thickness might have suggested. But the most surprising part for me is the actual wing part. There are 11 slightly bent wings in a gray color. All in all, pretty normal for a case fan. However, my experience with this type of fan until now is that the wings were always heavily bendable, but not on here. The whole central area is so extremely rigid it, it, is a, it was a very positive surprise. Spec-wise, you might believe that the 120mm big fan is 27mm thick, as the spec sheet suggests. However, this is calculated with the rubber pieces in mind. If you remove them, you are just back to regular 25mm thickness. Bearing-wise, the Flex series comes with a fluid dynamic bearing with a 120,000 hours estimated lifetime, so pretty good over there. Inside the box, which all seriousness aside, I love Scythe packaging. They just don't hide their love for Japanese stuff. Everything is bold, edgy, sharp, extreme, color switches. I just love that stuff. It, it looks like all of those Japanese candies that they sell all over the internet, like everything is katana, samurai, what is going on here? Putting my profession forced fetish aside for a second, each case flex PVM fan comes with the usual four set of fan screws, but at the same time they also include little three pin, which actually is just a two pin, to Molex male and female adapter. Now although I hate Molex, and I hope that the inventor of that and whoever thought that putting scissors inside of a box which is just openable with scissors, both just rot in hell, this is a nice touch for somebody who tries to upgrade the cooling on like a really really old and, and weird machine like maybe it's an just an older machine or maybe it's some old 4U server that has Molex connectors or I don't know just keep in mind that using this will force the fan to spin at max speed all the time. Now with that said, let's take a look at the benchmarks. Letting the case flex spin at their max speed, they managed to keep the CPU at 57 degrees C above ambient. If we ignore for a second fans like the Fantex T30 or Noxia A12X25, cause that would be like joining a knife battle with a spoon, the case flex turned out pretty great. Compared to similarly quick spinning fans, they landed a degree behind the Noxia S12B and 5 degrees C ahead of the S12A. Compared to things like the Asia Horse 9002 Pro, Bitphoenix Spectre, Galic Stella, they managed to beat all of them. Not even the Be Quiet Silent Wing 4 120mm PVM at 1600 RPM 
had a chance. Over on the noise to performance side, it is also looking very, very good. Here we compared all of our 1200 RPM case fans with a few exceptions such as the Arctic Bionics F120 at 1800 RPM and the P12 ARGB at 2000 RPM. The joke in all of this is that the Scythe case flex still beat them all. Actually, it's not even funny. Scythe case flex fans wiped the freaking floor with every other 1200 RPM fan that we have. And just for fun, we've added a bunch of quicker fans. Sure, things like the Arctic P12 ARGB or Bionics F120s can go way further and then they will just get the temps down even lower, that's for sure, but noise to performance wise, those things are so freaking amazing. The only outline, and I still don't understand how they pulled this off, are the Bitfinex Spectre SE at 100% of their speed, which is also the only speed that they will not like uh, thermal throttle, they produce this. And just for reference, there is a Nokia NF-A12X25. Not that you start to believe that the case flags are like the best fans out there, they are not. For, for now, they just seem to be amazing case fans. But once you leave the category and enter the unconsensual forcing the air through category, there are a lot of fans that are above that. But still, as far as case fans go, those case flex 120mm PVM are freaking amazing. Quality-wise, they made points. Nothing wiggles, nothing flexes. Oh boy. But also performance-wise, those things managed to deliver. In the 120mm category, the noise to performance ratio was one of the very best. And as far as included goodies go, I really hope that you will never need it, but you can go back to before Christ. But one of the best parts, those things are going for below 10 bucks per fans. Sure, they could add like a triple pack, but this is damn near Arctic P12 level of price. So yeah, from our side, absolute recommendation. If anybody's looking for a good case fan, case. Ah, but okay, this would be it for the Scythe Case Flex 120mm PVM. At this point, a huge thank you to Scythe for sending them over, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the Sandwing Pro 4. If you need to make something or someone disappear, that's where you, you know, put them through. On a side note, we now also have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your from RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get a katana, cause I don't really know why, but I feel the sudden urge to open one of those boxes, or all boxes from now on, using only a katana. I, I don't know why I, this would work, uh, but I, I, I will figure it out somehow. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.